Welcome back. I need to film this before HGTV comes and crashes my game. I was finishing up some stuff inside and it's starting to get real laggy. I'm going to film this before this whole thing crashes my game and my save file gets corrupted or whatever. So as you can see, we have built a base that is entirely hanging off of this bridge right here in this specific area at negative 271 negative 165 this base includes everything it has a farm it has a lumber farm stone farm there's wheat and berry outside right here all the cooking all the benches all the assembly lines before going on to the build i want to make sure everybody understands how this is possible on just a super basic fundamental level with the build system so each side of a foundation piece can support quote unquote support three pieces right so this is one two three not enough support after that okay however this does not account for any type of verticality Okay, so this is still the same three pieces being supported by the one foundation as that. So it doesn't account for any verticality. So how I'm able to achieve this is having the two foundations right there can support six, six pieces wide, which is exactly how how many wide my build is down there six pieces now that's just at a super basic fundamental level of this and we can take advantage of the fact that oh well we can take advantage of the fact that the game is not accounting for any type of verticality and actually build down now how you do that You have your one foundation. You'll build your wall. And now with this wall, roofs don't actually have to go above it. We can actually build a roof below it. And what can you connect to roofs? Walls. So we just build down. And now this foundation is supporting this roof. And that's how you're able to build out two more from here. And two more from here. And now if you put a foundation here, which I don't know if I can do it from underneath. I can. Cool. If you put a foundation here. This foundation is now supporting this roof, which means I can go out one further. And that's how you're able to achieve this f hanging, floating build. Let's go on a little tour. You can enter from both sides. I like this entrance a little better. Then here we have our courtyard, I guess. There are two statues. I did want to decorate this a bit more, but my game is starting to lag a bit in this area. <laughs> now this is what I was talking about earlier. I built a little chute. I did have it go all the way down. I have one on both sides. I did have it go all the way down um, the chute, but I needed more space for the for these so we have our pal box down here it was originally up there i moved it down here on the first floor our lumber farm stone farm egg incubators some 
chest right there. Uh, I added this door here because sometimes the pals will get stuck out here. It, it helps the AI sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then I just have to open this. Goo goo ga ga. I want, I want milk. I also added this door right here to kind of help prevent that because most of the things the pals are going to be doing are on the floor underneath. I have my storage right here. I'm sure you've noticed it in your own worlds, but sometimes like the generator is, is right down here. The pals can do some very strange things. Like he's accessing the generator from up here. You have been promoted. Okay. There you go, buddy. We have a fridge, a stove. There are food boxes down here. That's why I put the door so they stay down here. So after I let out all the pals, and if they don't need to stay upstairs, I'll just close the door on them. I have the hot tub right here. A nice porch. And then through this door right here is where we go to our farm. They can they can access it from from inside. A little outdoor area, I guess, or whatever. I have my farms. Five wheat farms. Put four berry farms here. The only downside of this is they can't gather it or they can't um, transport it. So I I have to come out here occasionally and pick everything up. But it's not that bad. And the reason they can't transport it is because there's no actual stairs to the... Like these aren't... This isn't stairs. So they can't actually get up here. Maybe I could build stairs from out this corner right here. I don't know. I'd have to try. But I don't mind going out there to pick them up every once in a while. Next, we have uh, pretty much all of the workbenches. All three of the assembly lines. You can access the bottom two from down here. Weapon assembly line. Sphere assembly line. You can access the top one from down here if you jump, but I added this up here because it makes it a lot easier. Production assembly line. And just to show that it can be worked on. Thank you. Repair bench, some chests, furnace, pressure, just in case. There's also two balconies here that I haven't been able to decorate any. It's uh, it's getting a little laggy. Just a little small one. I have my bed, condenser, all the bow beds. Now to leave, I could build stairs up but pretty much I would either have to get rid of this and move it over here, which would mean I would have to get rid of both of the gates. I don't really want to do that. Um, so you just use your grappling hook. Jump on up. So as you can see, we're using the two wide foundation right here to build six wide down here. And you could build the entire thing, just a giant six by however many you can manage to fit in a row. This build was a lot of fun. I didn't get to finish before recording, as I've said. There's a couple other things I wanted to do, decorate the outside a little bit more, upgrade some of the old appliances and furniture and stuff like that. Anyways, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. It is fully functional, it has all the assembly lines all the benches the lumber farm stone farm actual farm 
I appreciate all the support in my recent videos. You guys are great. One thing I would recommend if you do build this is, is to turn off your raids. If you do like playing with raids on, um, I would not recommend building this. I had them on at the beginning. It's not sustainable. <laughs> it is not sustainable to have one of these hanging bases and uh, play with raids on. If you enjoyed, if you like this build and you want to see more in the future, make sure to subscribe. We'll keep working on builds. I have something big planned that I'm going to start working on soon. Might not be the next build, but it'll be one of them. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to like. If you enjoyed, let me know what you think down below. Anyways, peace. Love your friends. And there is a dinosaur called the Utah Raptor. Okay, bye.